How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great and amazing video with your boy, the Savior, the Majestical Savior Show. That's right, welcome back. If you're new, go down below and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Now, today, boys, we are discussing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. That's right, the new Borderlands video game is here, and I'm very sad to report this, but Tiny Tina's Wonderlands sucks, okay? Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is a bad game, period, okay? Before I get bombarded by little children in the comments, you just gotta love that word, bombarded. Sounds so fucking weird. So Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is here. The new video game by the people who brought us Borderlands is here. And I wish I was here saying that this game is good, but I personally think that Tiny Tina's Wonderlands sucks, okay? And this is not a good game. I really have to preface this by saying if you're a hardcore Borderlands fan and you love every single Borderlands game that's ever been released, I think there's been like six Borderlands games now that have come out. It might not feel like there have been so many Borderlands games before, but actually that's not true. You're just forgetting about all the different Borderlands spin-off video games. There have actually been so many Borderlands video games, around six, okay? You know, the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, the original Tiny Tina's Borderlands, okay? So there have been a lot of Borderlands video games, and personally my favourite, okay, is number 2, and number 1, and the Telltale series, which I think was actually really good and really funny, and actually had good writing in it. So that's really what I want to talk about today, is why Tiny Tina's Wonderland sucks. So if you are a massive Borderlands fan, then you're probably still gonna like this because you just love the gameplay, right? You love the gameplay loop, and that's fair enough. If you like that type of game, the looter shooter, the kind of mindless thing where you don't have to think about anything and you can just switch off your brain and just shoot a bunch of enemies and collect a bunch of, you know, loot, you know, to me that gets old pretty quickly. I did enjoy it, but now I really want to see some kind of innovation. I want to see something different, and to me, this game doesn't innovate whatsoever, and not only does it not innovate, it absolutely destroys the franchise in many regards, because now it just feels like it's completely catered to a different audience, basically children, okay? So yeah, you can still enjoy this if you're an adult, and I'm not shaming you, but let's be honest, this game is for kids now, okay? The writing is so goddamn cringeworthy. The jokes aren't funny anymore. No hate to anyone who likes it. Remember, we are allowed a different opinions. I know that the world nowadays and the mainstream media likes to tell you that you can't have different opinions, but it's okay, little Jimmy, okay? It's fine to have different opinions. Remember that. In fact, listening to other people's opinions will actually make you smarter. I know, right? That sounds crazy, Savior. Are you sure that's right? That doesn't sound like science to me. It sounds like you're preaching some kind of mad magic over here. But no, just, you know, take a listen, okay? Even if you disagree with what I'm saying, listen to my argument, listen to where I'm coming from, and maybe you'll agree, maybe you'll disagree. I'll leave that up to you. So I really did love Borderlands 2. I have such good fond memories of Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1. You know, when I was in high school, I would have my high school group of friends. And if you're in high school right now and you're listening to this, just remember, Sunny Jim, that your friendships aren't probably going to last. I'm sorry to tell you that, but when you grow up, you know, you might not know the same people you did when you're a kid, and that's okay. In fact, it's probably better for you. And that's just a little side note. Enjoy the times that you have now in school. Don't take school seriously. Don't take education seriously, trust me, because it's all a fucking joke. And don't take people too seriously, okay? And enjoy the times that you have messing around. That was, you know, a great experience for me in my younger years, was playing Borderlands 2 with a group of friends, and it was great, okay? And I really did enjoy it, and I remember playing Borderlands 1 for the first time as well, and that was a really magical experience. What made Borderlands so good back then was it was pretty unique, okay? It had a unique, you know, type of gameplay system that we hadn't really seen before. You know, this looter shooter kind of RPG leveling up type thing. It wasn't exactly a role-playing game where you could make choices, but it gave you freedom in how you customized your character and how you progressed. And the looter shooter, you know, type gameplay was really addictive. The unique art style that it had as well was really interesting and really cool and made it stand out from the rest. Also, the world, you know, about Pandora and the lore behind it. All of these different corporations like Hyperion and all of these different gun manufacturers, you know, it was like a super hyper-capitalistic future dystopia with a kind of firefly, cowboy, 
kind of, you know, future sci-fi type vibe to it, which was very unique, and the art style made it even more unique, and I really liked it, and the best thing about it was it actually made you laugh. Now, I can't say for sure if I go back and play the games again that I'm gonna laugh, because maybe it was just because I was younger and I found it more funny, but I do believe that the writing in 1 and 2 was far more superior than 3 and now Tiny Tina's Wonderland being the worst one, okay? The writing from 3 onwards, okay, has become so cringeworthy and it's pretty much unplayable at this point. It's so annoying, it doesn't feel fun to play because Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, okay, feels like you're playing a game which can be fun, you know, moment to moment gameplay wise, but you have this constant annoying mosquito in your ear. That's what it feels like because the characters in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands suck so hard. It's the most harmless, safest, cringiest writing that I've ever seen in a video game. Now, I do know it's 2022 and you can't offend anyone anymore, we gotta have this woke agenda and everything now, and they really have gone soft. Not just with its gameplay, and that's a big core aspect. Borderlands has been the same now for a very long time. It's basically just Borderlands 3 a DLC, okay? That's pretty much all that it is, but it's, you know, trying to make it its own game. But the, you know, the RPG kind of Dungeon and Dragons vibe it has going for it, this fantasy kind of world, it doesn't really work, in my opinion, okay? Because at the end of the day, you are just, you know, shooting weapons. They haven't overhauled it to make it feel like, okay, this is actually a fantasy world, and you're using, you know, melee-based weapons. You know, that would be cool. Imagine a melee-based Borderlands, you know, that would change things up, you know, that would be quite different, but no, it's just kind of like a reskin, okay? And to me, that's just not enough. They haven't tweaked the gameplay enough to make it interesting or unique, but the worst culprit, like I said, is the writing, is the dialogue. This is a child's game, okay? Borderlands 1 was actually, you know, for kind of a mature audience. I'm not gonna say, you know, it's like as bleak as Fallout 2 or Fallout 3, or Fallout New Vegas, you know, it's not that mature. It did have jokes in it for a much more mature audience, and it had much more focus on dark comedy. Pandora was a forgotten world, okay? You know, it was left basically to rot, and it was basically just a wasteland. You know, there was some really good quality dark humor in there, and the writing was clever, you know? It wasn't just relying on poop jokes or, you know, fart jokes. You know, the characters in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands are incredibly annoying. You know, that's that's down to personal perspective, I guess, if you actually like that type of humor, or if you like Tiny Tina as a character. I personally can't fucking stand her, I think she's annoying as hell. She's got some serious critical Asperger's, and uh, you know, I just don't find it funny, okay? But the thing is, the writing has taken a massive hit, not just because it's catering to a younger audience, which would be fine because, you know, kids need games to play as well, but the thing is, they've just made it so it's only catered to children now, you know, it's not fun for an adult to play, you're not gonna laugh at any of these jokes, they're all super cringy, and, you know, the good thing about Borderlands 1 and 2 is they did actually take risks with their jokes, some of them were quite bleak, some of them were quite offensive in a good way. This doesn't have any of that because it's 2022 and they can't offend anyone, so it's just so bland. And the best thing about Borderlands was not only did it have good humor in it occasionally, but the writing was actually solid. You know, there were moments where you would really feel emotional and connected to the character and they would have some great emotional weight to it. The villain, Handsome Jack, had, you know, a really good backstory. All of this stuff made Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1 far more better. The humor is completely off. It's only catered towards children now. They haven't done enough to innovate the gameplay. It's basically just Borderlands 3. And again, we see another gaming franchise go to the dust because this is really a problem, not just with this game. You know, I've been basically destroying a lot of modern day games recently because they're all goddamn boring. They're all so repetitive. They're all so regurgitated and recycled because these corporate scumbags, they know they can just push out absolute shit without any kind of innovation, without anything, you know, newly added or any kind of interesting mechanics or gameplay or good writing. 
and people are just going to buy it because we've become such a domesticated, consumer-based world so they can just completely abuse the consumers and gamers and gaming has become so massive now, so oversaturated, that these big studios at the top can just release absolute trash. You're going to get 10 out of 10s from all of these shills and other YouTubers or big gaming media outlets like IGN and it's just a complete and it's just a complete scam, it's a complete lie. So that's why I'm telling you that Tiny Tina's Borderlands sucks, okay? Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is a bad game. Do not buy Tiny Tina's Wonderlands unless if you absolutely love Borderlands or you really like, you know, immature childlike humor or if you're a kid and you want to play this with a group of friends, then yeah, you're going to enjoy it. And if you haven't played the other Borderlands games, you might still like this. I mean, it's the same fucking engine. It's just so stupid when you load in, you know, it's the same garbage technology where it just renders everything in slow motion. It's just lazy garbage and I'm sick of it. Stand up and stop buying this bullshit, okay? That's my opinion. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, my little cutie idiot. I mean, that is literally the equivalent to an insult in Borderlands Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It's, ugh, it's disgusting. It's the most cringeworthy garbage I've seen in a while. So, there you go. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, have a great day, and, you know, play with yourself a little bit. Why not?